What can you say about their massage? Nice. Very nice. Very okay. And now we're in Gao Sana Mall. We're here with Jita. <laughs> Jita's right there. Gren's right there. And we're gonna send a package to the United States. It's not a package, it's a letter. Um, it's very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Bunga, I crashed. It's a good thing they saw me because I could have bumped my head or I could have bumped their head. That would have been bad. And that's where you turn in your bags if you want to go somewhere or if you just want them to hold it for you. You give them your bag and they give you a ticket right there. Everybody's waiting in line. There's Renz. I don't know if he's going to notice that his favorite restaurant is right there. I guess friends didn't notice. What? I guess friends didn't notice. Why? Aya. <laughs> He's too sleepy. Uh huh. There's FedEx. It's so busy here in Dallas on the Mall. It's actually busier than Essen Milan and Visa Mall. I don't know. Maybe it's school time. If somebody wants an ATM business, I think the number one place to put an ATM business is in Gaisan Mall because they always run out of money here. Traffic. Man, traffic. Some coloring books. <laughs> How many does he want? How much does it cost? Is that a coloring book? Yeah. It uh, costs 74 pesos or maybe two dollars. Something like that. And if you look. How much does it cost? Allah. I think we're safe with the coloring book. And I saw another one of their neighbors. So many people from their hometown here in Davao City. I guess it's a small world, but definitely a smaller Philippines. I think I know why it's so crowded. Come on. I think I know why it's so crowded. It's seven. It's seventy percent off from January sixth to uh, January twenty second. It's a big sale. Seventy percent off. Are you gonna buy anything? So fast. Anaman. Why not? Because I have nothing to buy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jira's baby. <laughs> so, how many months pregnant are you? Seven. Seven. Yeah. So, if you're seven months pregnant now, does that mean you're going to be bigger when you're nine months pregnant? Yeah. Wow. If you could explain Jira's pregnancy in one word, what would it be? Uh, one word only? Yeah, one word. Sexy. <laughs> For me, it would be it. Lord, what Lord, forgive me. What's the number one thing you need forgiveness for? <laughs> kind of a weird question. <laughs> no, no. We're in a shopping mall. We're not at church, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're right. And was I right or was I right? Fama's feet or her ankles are really hurting because those shoes she bought really hurt her feet. Every time she buys high heels, even just a little bit of high heels, she wears it maybe once, twice, three times, and then she never wears it again. I think you're going through another high heel fad. There's one time where she bought like a million high heels and all of them were just sitting there. <laughs> maybe not a million, maybe just a hundred thousand. So I'm wondering what happens if some lucky lady or unlucky lady has foot fungus and everybody just goes shiny on the shoes. I don't really, I don't know. What happens if an unlucky lady has foot fungus and she's trying on these shoes? What? What happened? If an unlucky lady has foot fungus and you're the unlucky guy or girl to try, try the next. Yeah. No, can that happen though? Because because some people have athlete's foot or foot fungus. So, is it dangerous to try on shoes? What do you think? Maybe, yeah. That's why the, the, the sales lady look at their feet. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. Let me look at your feet. Nice? 
But Fungus, athlete's foot, I think you're fine. So how much does that cost? It's actually see-through, it's like a spider whip. So if you ever want to try out for spider women, those are the, your perfect shoes. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It's only 500 pesos. 500 pesos for the spider woman one. It means right here are 259 pesos or about 6 bucks here in the department store at Garrison Mall. And this is only 600 pesos or maybe 15 bucks. That's pretty good. I mean, they look better than your favorite shoes. Yeah. And you can travel this. So is it affordable because it's a sale or because... It's a sale. It's oh, a wow. price. So Garrison Mall has some good shoes here. If you want a sale, uh, this one works. Yeah, but, but these are only 250 pesos and those look much better. Yeah, but if you, you this is four months, this is like, you just go to one Shopping for shoes, don't buy shoes that look like that because it doesn't look very nice. See, you look, their toes are hanging off. I guess Fema hasn't learned anything, <laughs> she's still buying high heels. It's not high heels, it's just high shoes, shoes that are high or high sandals. Huh? book at. I can't carry you because you book at. Are you kapoy? Kapoy ka? So you think these are simple? Yeah. Really? Simple? I think you like this type of design. No, I like the last ones. And I like the Spider Woman ones. It's called design. It looks like a mix of cheetah, goth, SM, and spikes, like a weapon. <laughs> what do you guys think about these? Huh? I'm not fashionable. Would you ever wear these? No, because I'm pregnant. I what if you weren't this. pregnant? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Really? For, for daily use. For daily use, thank you. <laughs> she asked for 700 and, and she only gave her 500. <laughs> Your voice is like He-Man. I love because you're 700 man. 700. I just realized I only give 500. So 700 pesos or maybe 16, 17 dollars for two pairs of shoes. My nose blow. <laughs> <laughs> He wants Jolly Bee. We're going to Jolly Bee, Vince. Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. Bayot Inkoy? Your friend Inkoy is Bayot? <laughs> Your friend Inkoy is gay? And we're 
waiting for our food. I think, <laughs> what is that? Is that the Jolly Bee dance? My favorite song. Is this really your favorite song? Is this your favorite song? Mantho isn't as active or as excitable as before because Eric hasn't visited us in a while. I miss him yeah. so much. And not only that, but when Eric comes, so does Tantan and Roy Roy. And you know, it's, it's so, so much fun at the house. Right? Yeah, maybe this coming Saturday. We're gonna coming invite Saturday? them to our house to eat our house. <laughs> That's how they say eat at our house. Yeah. They say eat our house. <laughs> Mm. Here in downtown San Pedro, right in front of Lachmi, right in front of the city hall. We're going to get Fama massage and maybe Jeter too. Very peaceful here. I'm starting to feel more and more comfortable being here. I wasn't very comfortable here before. And Renz took off. This is where you get a massage. I don't know how much it costs. We're treating Mantoi. Ching doesn't want one. She says it tickles. Ching, goi Ching ba, we buy yours. Someone wants a gay guy to massage me. <laughs> Yeah, she's a guy. Yeah, I would feel very uncomfortable if a woman massaged me, and I'd feel uncomfortable too. In, in, the, US, in the US, I never would have got a massage from a guy ever. But whenever I get a haircut, they always massage you, so I get kind of used to it. Is she going to get a massage too? No. No. Oh, finish up. Ching, Ching, can you watch Renz? He's taking off, very delicado. Since Ching's not getting a massage, I think she's gonna watch Renz. Lang, maganta lang. Oh, by the way, people in the world, we're here in San Pedro. Ching, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. It's Ate Fem and Quick Chris. Ati Jet, Mantoy, hi Mantoy. Parang serious so. Ay. Ha. Ipo massage. Pa massage ka lang. What can you see about their massage? Nice. Very nice. Very okay. Can you create trees? I'm revealing my abs, <laughs> my fats. <laughs> Everybody can see my fats. <laughs> yeah, Mantoy and Atijit over there. Hi, Lang. Kaon pa ka lang? Uy, labay na na ung. Uy, you sit like this. You sit like that? Oh, no. Like that? No. Okay. So I had a massage here in San Pedro. It costs 40 pesos. That's less than one dollar. It lasts for 10 minutes. And this is Femma's way to relax. This is her coping mechanism when she gets stressed. Together. Together. So we had some nice food to eat, we just relaxed there, had some something to eat, and now we're all getting a massage. I'm done, Renz is the only one that's not getting a massage. And for those of you that are wondering, I think it's a good job to be a massage therapist here, because they get a lot of customers. But I asked them, and they actually limit how many people can massage. They have different associations, different shirts, different shirts for our different associations. Because if they didn't limit it, there'd be a million people here crowding the sidewalk, giving people massages. 
Friends, friends, balik. Hugao, Hugao. He's trying to do push-ups. <laughs> Let's go. Hold my hand. And they're having some dance practice over there. Dirty. Why are you so dirty? Oh, they're exercising, I think. So is Vince. Mentoy is crazy over guys. I guess I guess you guys were laughing because that guy was doing like an arm cross or like. No, no, no. We've been we've been talking about the dance. We're just joking. Oh, the dancing. And when all else fails, just kugos, hold him. <laughs> so how was it, Mentoy? Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. Mm. Do you feel relaxed? Yeah. Was it as good as Eric's massage? <laughs> no, Eric never been massaging. <laughs> What's that, my dear? Oh, I wish you know how to massage like that. <laughs> shout, shout for joy. <laughs> oh, you. Headset?